this special Christmas service of lessons and carols. A time when we are reminded of the facts of the incarnation of the Lord Jesus Christ, using scripture readings and carols. The printed program will help you to follow the service and help you to know how to participate. Please join in the singing the congregational carols included in your program. In this special service, we will trace the loving purposes of God from the first days of our sin to the glorious redemption provided for us through Jesus Christ. It is our tradition at this service to take up a collection for the residents of the Liberty God Miracle, to bring them special cheer and encouragement in what might be a lonely time for them. Please give generously for their comfort as well as their support. Who knows what this, this loving gesture might have a special meaning to them for someone who truly needs to receive tangible assurance of acceptance and affection that this community of believers can provide. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we pray that you will bless this special offering for the benefit of those in our immediate reach who need to know that you love them and that we are also concerned for their welfare. Permit us to be the messengers of your love and grace in the giving of this offering. In Jesus' name, amen.
your gospel of salvation through Christ. And we bring before you this night, dear Lord, all who are poor in this world's goods, all who are cold and lack shelter, all who are hungry, all who are oppressed, and all who are sick. We bring before you all who mourn, all who are lonely, and all who are unloved. We remember before you the elderly and the infirm, the little children, particularly those in distress in our city, our nation, and throughout the world. But most urgently, dear Lord, we pray for all those in this and every way who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, for those who do not love him, and for those he longs to save. Move our hearts, Lord, to reach out to all these people for your name's sake. And finally, we remember before you all those in military service, those who fight for the cause of freedom, and we pray that you would look after and preserve their families. All of these we bring before you now in our hearts, by name and silent prayer. And I'll give you a moment to lift them up in prayer at this time, and then I will close. Thank you, Lord, and we know that you are faithful to hear our prayers. Now, dear Father, we pray that the Holy Spirit will be present with us as we read your word and present it with us as we sing about the first coming of your Son of Bethlehem of Judea some 2,000 years ago. We ask all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.
Second lesson, God promises faithful Abraham that in his seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Genesis 22, 15 through 18. The angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withhold, withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee. In multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars in the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. My seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Unto us a child of the Lord, 
unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from hence for even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts.
fifth lesson, the angel Gabriel salutes the Virgin Mary, Luke 1, 26 through 35 and 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city in Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of, this, of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, to 
Peter, and the city of David, or Bethlehem, as he was the house of the lineage of David. We taxed Mary with a stout wife, being great for child. And so it was, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. She brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him.
eighth lesson. Wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Matthew 2, 1 through 11. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child marrying his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh.
came unto his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. The Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Please remain standing, for oh, come on.
O Lord, in thanksgiving for the unspeakable gift of your Son, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're here tonight without Christ and you've never taken Him as your Lord, your Savior, let Him be born in you tonight. As we hear this the last carol, don't be afraid. Come forward, repent of your sins, and take Jesus into your heart by faith. And I will also be around afterwards to meet you and talk. As a closing prayer, thank you, Lord, for sending the Lord Jesus Christ into this world to redeem us from the power of sin and death, to make it possible for us to spend eternity with you. Help us to remember in this season of Christmas that Christ made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant who was made in the likeness of men, being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus into the world to save sinners. And thank you for the assurance that you just, that just as you sent Jesus into the world for the first time in humility, you will certainly send him into the world again, this time in power. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace. We love and serve the Lord.